Welcome to the 18th Singapore Sports School Awards Night 2022. My name is Max. I am a second year student in the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program and I'm from the Shooting Academy. And my name is Zingni and I'm a proud student of the Singapore Sports School Track and Field Academy. We are both delighted to be your MCs for this evening. This year's event may be a more intimate one due to the ongoing COVID-19 situation and the precautions that need to be taken to ensure everyone's safety. However, we will be recording this event to broadcast it to our students next Thursday on the 3rd of February. The recording will also be available online for parents and other stakeholders to witness the awards ceremony. To start the evening, let us now look at the significant events that took place in 2021. We began 2021 with optimism that it would be a more promising year. However, we faced several challenges, missed opportunities, and had to manage evolving situations as the world continued to be gripped by the pandemic. Student athletes and staff built on their experience from 2020 to manage their school life, leadership responsibilities, and personal well being. Sporting events slowly started resuming in 2021. As a result, there were more sporting actions, major milestones, and sweet victories that we have cherished and celebrated. 2021 started off on a high at sports school. Our student leaders organised our first hybrid orientation program for Secondary 1 student athletes. IBDP and O-level graduating student athletes received good results for their final examinations, and we launched our Alumni Association and two excellence awards at the 2021 Awards Night. The local sporting scene started to come alive again as competitions were organised. Our student athletes and alumni did well in them, proving that they had been on the right track and were still on top of their game. Everything came to a standstill in May when the heightened alert was announced after cases were on the rise. Student athletes and staff transitioned to home-based learning and training for a short period. This time, we were more prepared and could improvise and strengthen learning and training programs conducted over the virtual space. We had already implemented the personalized digital learning program for secondary one to three student athletes to support their e-learning by then. To further strengthen our student athletes' self-directed and independent learning skills so that they could continue learning even when they are overseas for training or competitions, an independent learning day was introduced from term three. During this time, student athletes had to deal with the disappointment of postponed or cancelled sporting events. Some others had to adapt to virtual formats of competitions, yet they took it in their stride. Knowing that it was not an easy year, we introduced new initiatives to reach out to our friends. We started our very own SSP podcast to engage student athletes and introduce Student Wellbeing Week to show our care and support for them. Our peer support program was also effective as student athletes looked out for each other. As safe management restrictions continued, we built on our experience and were innovative in the way we organised virtual events like Staff Day, Open House and P6E Orientation. We also embraced classroom-based activities and events that were conducted by the school, such as the Level Leadership Workshops, National Day and Graduation Ceremony. The sporting scene was much more exciting in the second half of the year, starting with the highly anticipated 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. Eight past and present student athletes from seven sports showed their grit and resilience in their journey to Tokyo. Their debut at the Pinnacle Sports event brought cheer and pride to all of us. When international travel slowly resumed, some student athletes and alumni took off and flew the Singapore flag high at global competitions. The table tennis trio, Isaac Kwek Yong, Tse Lin Tian, and Tso Ting Yi, won 13 medals at the World Table Tennis Star and Youth Contender Series in Europe. Our badminton alumni also shone among the best at the European tournaments. These are just some of our proud moments in 2021. 
there was also a flurry of activity towards the end of the year. More competitions were organised, giving our student athletes and alumni a much needed stage to showcase their sporting talents. For some sports, this was a major milestone as it has been a nearly a two-year break from competitive action. The long hiatus did not deter student athletes and alumni who showed their strength, sportsmanship and talent at these competitions. We celebrated some big wins in 2021. Alumnus Lo Ken Yu's glorious victory to become the world champion was one of the biggest sporting news of the year. Both Ken Yu and alumni Yo Jia Min enjoyed a series of wins and reached their career high ranking. Swimmer Maximilian Ang Wei wrote national records four times. Peddler Isaac Quek Yong became the first Singaporean peddler to take the world number one spot among the under 15s in early 2021. And the bowling alumni were part of the historical team that won Singapore's best results at the Bowling Federation Super World Championships. The class of 2021 also performed well in their GCE and NO levels. The IBDP batch got the best results yet. Outstanding student athletes, staff and alumni also received recognition for their efforts and excellent performance. Overall, 2021 has been a more fulfilling year for the sports fraternity and us in sports school. While not much may have changed in the classrooms and our daily lives, more opportunities to compete both locally and internationally has brought back the excitement and exhilaration that we have missed. We are also proud that our student athletes have gained strength through the adversity and showed their determination to succeed at competitions, in school and in life. Through it all, we had the sports school family behind us, giving us the support and push that we needed. Our mission to create learned champions with character continues. Upon our wings, we saw. Professor Tan Eng Chai, President, National University of Singapore, Board of Directors, award recipients, student athletes, staff, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to Singapore Sports School's 18th Awards Night. As shared, we have wanted a bigger crowd this evening as celebrating with loved ones make victories sweeter. But alas, as we all know, the Omicron wave set us back to this smaller, but hopefully it's a little bit more intimate physical event. However, in the true spirit of sportsmen, we will not be defeated as shared. Whatever that happens tonight will be turned into a video and shared with the rest of the student population and the parents too. We promise to also take beautiful pictures for our proud parents who could not join us this evening of your children right, who are here with us. So we want to thank you, our parents in particular, for your understanding and your wonderful support. As you've seen from the video, 2021 was an interesting year. It was quite a roller coaster ride, I must say. We experienced some tough times, but we persevered and are stronger. Adaptability and resilience have become the hallmark of our student athletes. In living with COVID, learning and training plans changed many times according to the group size limitations. Sporting competitions and school events were modified, and we had to adjust to changing safe management measures and training protocols. Student athletes struggle over whether to continue pursuing their sports given the many changes to training and the limited competition opportunities. But our children persevered in their sports and academic pursuits. Together with their parents, we continue supporting all our student athletes. We strengthen holistic education and develop caring, independent and responsible individuals who take ownership of their learning and training. We empowered our student athletes to lead in making changes to improve their learning experiences and values in action projects that served the community. We entrusted student athletes to be more self-directed in their learning and training through programs such as the provision of the personal digital learning device and the independent learning day. We celebrated with our eight Olympians who made their debut at the Pinnacle Sports event amidst difficult times. They overcame the postponement of the Olympic Games that had derailed their plans. 
and they adjusted their training plans according to the changing pandemic situation and eventually triumphed, making it to the Olympics. We also celebrated the graduating batch of the International Baccalaureate Diploma student athletes who produced our school's best ever results despite the challenges. About 83% of our student athletes achieved 40 points or better. Of the 23 IBDP graduates, 65% are in national youth or national team for their sports, and almost all of them scored 40 points or better. They have demonstrated how sports and academic excellence can go hand in hand in sports school. Our Polytechnic, O-Level and N-Level graduates also continue to produce very good results. There is much to celebrate. 18 years of the sports school history. It's a short time for a school, but built upon a very strong community. The National Sports Associations have never ceased their strong partnerships and engagement. The Sporting Parents Network has organized itself to support new and current parents of children who dare to take a path less trodden, walking the highs and lows with their children together with the school. Our newly formed Alumni Association boasted not only outstanding national athletes and contributing members of society in all walks of life, Almost 30 alumni members have volunteered their time to provide mentorship to our current student athletes, whether in the area of pursuing professional sports, university application, or career advisory. In turn, Sports School has also opened its doors to welcome alumni members who are still training to represent Singapore to return here to train if they need it. Sports school is more than just a school. It is a national institution that nurtures potential national athletes to be learned champions with character. It is part of Singapore's high-performance sports system to develop national athletes. Hence, we will continue to serve our alumni who are striving to represent Singapore in their sports. We will explore how we can continue to support them even when they are in higher institutions of learning. We hope to work closely with the IHLs to explore how we can be of better support to these national athletes, even as they transit into universities. Student athletes, award winners and alumni, you're all beneficiaries of those who have gone before you. And I'm touched that many of you also think beyond yourself, even as you pursue sports and academic excellence. When Logan Yu won the Badminton World Championships and put returning to his alma mater to encourage his juniors as a priority, despite having only two weeks of rest in Singapore, I was deeply touched. When he shared matter-of-factly during the engagement session with the juniors, why he wanted his coach and physiotherapist to enjoy the business class seat upgrade with him, he showed how a true champion goes beyond winning medals. He said, we came together as a team and should live as a team too. By his action, he has won hearts and minds. Award winners, you too have a team with you and behind you. Let this day also be a day of celebration and appreciation for the support they have given you. Your parents, coaches, teachers, mentors, general managers, counsellors, physiotherapists, psychologists, National Sports Association, sponsors, give thanks. This evening, we are also very thankful to have Professor Tan Ing Chai, President of the National University of Singapore, grace this occasion as our guest of honour. You may wonder why the President of Singapore's oldest and esteemed university is here in sports school. Well, Professor Tan is no stranger to supporting sports. He was responsible for setting up NUS Sports Scholarship more than 10 years ago. When we first approached Professor Tan, he accepted our invitation readily, despite his very packed schedule. Thank you, Professor Tan. As we were chatting at the foyer, waiting for the event to start, we learned that Professor Tan's daughter used to train at sports school under one of Netball Singapore's age group team. And as a loving sporting father, he would come by to pick her up 
after her training. So Professor Tan is actually no stranger to sports school. I hope this evening will be some sort of a homecoming for you too, Professor Tan. And indeed, sports connects and unites in more ways than we can imagine. It leaves me now to wish everyone a splendid 2022. And Sing Nian Kuai Le, Wan Shi Rui, to all those who are celebrating the upcoming Lunar New Year. Thank you. Mr. Ong Kim Soon, Principal, Singapore Sports School, Board of Directors, Award recipients, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm delighted to join all of you at the Singapore Sports School 18th Awards Night. So first, let me extend my heartiest congratulations to all award recipients. You have chosen a different and unique path. It takes courage, passion, and determination to pursue your interest in sports at such a high level. Now, this is a wonderful occasion to gather as a community to recognize and also celebrate your hard work and your achievements. Uh, earlier, Mr. Ong has mentioned that uh, I had some familiarity with the sports school. Well, I played the role of a supportive parent uh, in uh, actually ferrying my daughter, uh, who was involved in sports uh, in, during her secondary uh, school. And she was, I think, for a few years doing her training here. Uh, and uh, I only had the opportunity to admire the school uh, from the car, <laughs> actually quite close to your driveway. I never had the opportunity to come in and take a look. But it really looked very, very grand from outside. You really have a beautiful campus. Now, COVID-19 has changed our lives. It has especially been challenging for athletes around the world who have had to contend with disruptions to training regimes and competition schedules. Now, the 2020 Tokyo Olympics is a case in point. Uh, they had to be postponed. Uh, in such uncertain times, it takes strong will, discipline, and sure hard work to stay focused on your goals. So today, please do give yourself a pat on the back for staying the course, for having run a good run, and uh, for scaling greater heights in the midst of all these challenges. Now, Nelson Mandela once said, sports has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. It speaks to you in a language they understand. Sport galvanizes a nation in excitement, in anticipation, in tears, in jubilation. So when your sports school's alumnus, Loki and you, won the Badminton World Championships recently, Singaporeans from all walks of life, they really beam with pride and adoration for this young hero national hero. So similarly, in the 2020 Olympic Games, uh, the paramet uh, paramet uh, para sorry, Paralympic Games and the AFF Suzuki Cup also see Singaporeans rallying together as one team Singapore to cheer our national athletes. The power of sports to unify, to empower and motivate has been recognized not only by governments, but also by the United Nations. 
In 2005, the UN declared an International Year of Physical Education and Sport. And that is focused on using sports to help achieve the Millennium Development Goals. It is thus important that here in Singapore, we continue to invest in athlete development and also to support and nurture them to grow to their fullest potential. In this regard, the Singapore Sports School is a distinctive and dedicated institution that has enriched our schooling and education landscape. The Singapore Sports School pro provides specially curated pathways within an athlete conducive and supportive environment to help our budding athletes to fulfill their academic and sporting aspirations. Over the years, the school has expanded its educational pathways, improved its processes and systems, and enhanced its support system and network so that every aspiring national athlete receives the best support to scale greater heights and to succeed. Sports is demanding. Sports is competitive. Sports is tough. This is precisely a reflection of the world we live in. The tenacity, physical and mental strength you have gained through the pursuit of sports had laid a very strong foundation and will set you well for life. The positive attributes and attitudes developed through competitive sports will continue in you even after you graduate from the Singapore Sports School. Now, some of you may choose to pursue your tertiary education at one of the autonomous universities in Singapore. If you do, please choose NUS. Now, every year, we welcome students from the sports school through our regular admissions, as well as through attitude-based admissions and into a wide range of courses from humanities and sciences to business, law and medicine. Young athletes are an important part of the NUS family. They add to the diversity of talents and they add to the vibrancy of our campus. Now, as part of our commitment to recognizing and supporting young athletes, we have actually awarded more than 50 full sports scholarships to incoming freshmen. And these scholarships last for all four or five years, depending on which course you choose. Uh, and our sports scholars include many alumni from the Singapore Sports School. Now, apart from scholarships, we also extend other forms of support. First, a very flexible academic arrangement uh, would allow our athletes uh, to fulfil their sporting commitments. And we know it is quite tough to try to juggle your sporting commitment and your academic uh, commitments. So, students especially at, engage in sports at a very high competitive level while pursuing university education would have special provision for them to do so. Now, we also provide opportunities and financial sponsorship for our athletes to participate in overseas competitions such as 
the ASEAN and the World University Games, and many of the likes. We extend training spaces and facilities on campus to our athletes even after they have graduated. Our student athletes also tell us that they appreciate you know, a special concession, the car park labours, as some of them need to drive from school to their training venues every day. So I'm pleased to note that uh, NUS has been a choice institution for many athletes, sports schools alumni who have come through our doors include shooter Adeli Tan and swimmer Chantal Liu. Both of them actually represented Singapore at the recent 2020 Tokyo Olympics. And Adeli is an undergraduate doing a degree in communications and new media, while Chantal has recently graduated from the same course. Fencer Tatina Wong was also an undergraduate pursuing law when she clinched gold for the women's fall team event at the 2019 SEA Games. Hurdler Chong Wei Guan, who is vying for a piece of the upcoming SEA Games, is pursuing computer science and is the recipient of our NUS Sports Scholarship. These are some examples uh, I had also earlier in my conversation with Jason mentioned a few others like Chen Xiang, who is our national hurdler. So moving forward, NUS hopes to further deepen our partnerships with the sports school in nurturing national athletes. Singapore's flagship university, we want to work alongside our athletes at this critical stage of their sporting careers. And NUS is privileged to journey with our student athletes as they endeavour to represent Singapore, fly our nation's flag high, while also enriching themselves intellectually and holistically through university education and sports. So this year is an exciting one for the sports fraternity and sports school as there are several major games, the Southeast Asian Games, the Commonwealth Games, the 19th Asian Games and the Asian Youth Games. I would like to congratulate all student athletes and alumni who will earn a spot to compete in these games. Uh, we, your fellow Singaporeans, are all rooting for you. So once again, my heartiest congratulations to all award winners. And I wish you every success in your endeavours. Thank you. The Sports Achiever Award is presented to student athletes in the secondary and post-secondary program who have achieved outstanding results in their sports development. As you can see on the screen now, this year we are pleased to recognize 55 secondary student athletes and 47 post-secondary student athletes for excelling in their respective sports and serving as role models to their peers. We will, we will be presenting the awards to these deserving student athletes via another platform next week. The first category of awards is the MOE EduSafe Corrector Award. The EduSafe Corrector Award is presented to student athletes who have demonstrated exemplary corrector qualities and are excellent role models. The recipients of this award are Remus Ng from Badminton, Tanisha Kaur Teo E Ling from Bowling. Chong Ke Mei from Fencing. Mm 
Eng Weijin from Golf, who is not with us this evening. Next, we have Chi Enxuan Abby from Gymnastics. Mohamed Rao bin Mohamed Erwan from Football. Yi Peying Rega from Netball, who is not with us this evening. Next up, we have We Cheryl from Netball. Ao Yong Ting Yong from Shooting. Stephanie Clarissa Kwa from Swimming. Zhou Jing Yi from Table Tennis. Arzu Husni bin Zukifli Abdullah Hyo from Track and Field, who is not with us this evening. Next, we have Lam Wai Yan Janelle from Track and Field. Last but not least, we have Ong Li Ling Kimberly from Ushu. The next award is presented to student athletes who have excelled academically in the 2021 GCE O Level, N Level, and IBDP examinations. For top in GCE O Level examinations, we have Irene Kasuma Herbert from Badminton. Chloe Tan Su Ying from Netball. Heng Jun Boon from Shooting. Lastly, we have Chu Jing Wen Cassandra from Table Tennis. For the top in GCE N level examination, normal academic stream, we have Aditya Dutta from Football. For the top in GCE N level examination, normal technical stream, we have Mohammed Firuz bin Mohammed Basli Ko from Football. Next, we have the top in IBDP examination. First, we have Shin Zong Yi from Bowling. Chua Min Han Joven from Bowling, who's not with us this evening. Chan Fu Xian from Fencing. Next, we have Akila Nisa Binti Muhammad Nazim from Netball. Yi Pei Ying Reka from Netball, who's not with us this evening. Next, we have Jolene Dean Sim Gyak Ying from Netball. Chan Yi Shen from Shooting, who's not with us this evening. Next, we have Chin Ka En from Shooting. Lo Zi Sheng Brandon from Taekwondo, who's not with us this evening. Next, we have Dakshina Palu from Track and Field. Yo Ben Shin from Weightlifting, who's not with us this evening. Lastly, we have Ong Li Ling Kimberly from Usu.
Thank you, Mr. Ong. Next. I feel very happy and honoured to receive this award. I'm very grateful and would like to thank the school, coaches and everyone who supported me throughout this journey. This award definitely encourages and motivates me to work harder and achieve better results for Singapore. 2021 proves to be a successful year, especially towards the end of the year where I completed six weeks in Europe. I managed to get gold at one of them and improve my world ranking to be top 90 of the world. I am extremely honoured to be receiving this award. It's nice to know that Sports School is still supporting us on our sporting journey and recognising our hard work and success. My goal is to be top 50 at the end of 2022 and this award will continue to push me towards that goal. I'll always remember the lessons and teachings I have learned during my time in Sports School. And I hope to bring more glory as one of the alumni of Singapore Sports School. We would like to invite our principal, Mr Ong, back to the stage. Mr Ong, please. The first recipient of the Annabelle Pennyfather Excellence Award is Cheong Keme from the Fencing Academy. Our second recipient of the award is Jesslyn Hui Yuan from the Badminton Academy. Thank you, Mr. Ong. Twenty twenty one has definitely been filled with many ups and downs, but each setback and challenge has only strengthened me as a student athlete. I was able to set clear and focused targets to achieve my goals, which allowed me to perform well throughout the season. I am honestly grateful for the recognition I have received for my work as well as thankful for all the support I have received from the sports school and staff which helped me to excel and eventually receive this award. It has been a long journey in sports school and this award acts as both a mark of my achievements as well as a source of motivation to continue doing my best and pursue my sporting aspirations. We would like to invite Mr. Michael Palmer member of Singapore Olympic Foundation Board of Directors to join Mr. Ong on stage to give out the next award. Mr. Palmer, please. The recipient of the Tan Hao Liang Excellence Award is Chan Fu Xian from the Fencing Academy. Thank you, Mr. Palmer. The next award is the Outstanding Sports Achievement Award. This award is given to current student athletes and alumni who have represented Singapore at the Olympic Games or achieved a medal at the Commonwealth Games, Asian Games, World Championships or achieved a gold medal at the SEA Games.
The recipients are Pereira Veronica Sh Shanti from Athletics. Next, we have Yeo Jia Min from Badminton. Lo Kian Yu from Badminton. Unfortunately, he is unable to join us tonight. Amita Berthier from Fencing. Unfortunately, she is unable to join us tonight. Lo Rei Qi Cecilia from Sailing. Unfortunately, she is unable to join us tonight. Next, we have Adele Tan Tian Siu from Shooting. Liu Li Shan Shantel from Marathon Swimming. Unfortunately, she is unable to join us tonight. Next, we have Chiu Zhe Yi Clarence from Table Tennis. Next, we have Ilya Shamim Binti Muhammad Azni from Bowling. Ilya won a bronze medal at the International Bowling Federation Super World Championships in the Women's Trios event. Next, we have Niu Hui Fen from Bowling. Unfortunately, she's unable to join us tonight. Lastly, we have Ong Wei Xiong Darren from Bowling. Won a silver medal at the International Bowling Federation Super World Championships in the men's team event. Thank you, Professor Tan and Mr. Ong. Twenty twenty one has been a great year for my sporting journey because I finally got to compete internationally after a long time. I got to compete in an open category against world class players for the first time. I feel quite satisfied with my performance for the year. After getting this award, it will motivate me to train even harder and hopefully achieve better results in twenty twenty two. It is awesome to have received this very prestigious award for the consecutive year and I'm very thankful to the Singapore Sports School for presenting the award to me. It gives me more motivation to train harder and continue to drive for better results. We would like to invite Mrs. Mu to join Mr. Ong and Professor Tan on stage to present this award. Mrs. Mu, please. Our first recipient is Zhou Jingyi from the Table Tennis Academy. Our second recipient is Kwek Yong Isaac from Table Tennis Academy. The Mu Sun Chong Outstanding Student Athlete of the Year Award Post-Secondary. Like the Secondary Award, this is given to one male and one female post-secondary student athlete who excelled in both sports and studies, display exemplary conduct, and are role models to their peers. This is my first time receiving this award and I feel extremely honoured to receive this prestigious award. This award gives me more confidence and also motivates me to train harder to become a better athlete and a role model. My sporting goals for 2022 would be to attain gold for major games such as the SEA Games and Commonwealth Games as well as increasing my world ranking. 2021 has been a challenging but rewarding year and definitely the highlight would be fulfilling my dream of participating in the Olympics which was an unforgettable experience. I'm delighted and honoured to receive this prestigious award 
and also grateful for the important role Singapore Sports School played in nurturing and supporting me throughout my sporting journey and achievements as a student athlete. The first recipient of the award is Wong Sinru from the Table Tennis Academy. Our second recipient is Chu Zhe Clarence from the Table Tennis Academy. Thank you, Mrs. Mu, Professor Tan, and Mr. Ong. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our awards night. Before we go, can we all please rise for the school anthem? We will rise to the challenge, the sports school as one. With pride and with passion, in the journey we run. Every step leads us closer. Here's wishing all our guests 身体健康, 万事如意. Thank you for spending your evening with us. Thank, Thank you, you and, and good night. night.